Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karima. For anyone who's new, welcome and make sure to subscribe. Um, I just got out the shower, y'all, but I'll be starting off this vlog with a mini haul from Nordstrom, Sephora, and Ulta. Those are the three stores that I went to right before my hair appointment with Nikki. So I wanted to show y'all some of the items I got there. So let's get right into it y'all so the first item we have is this way scalp and body scrub i've been hearing so many good things about this product and i've been so excited to try it um it smells super good so yeah y'all it smells this literally smells like perfume and it has this thick consistency. I'm so excited to use it. It says that it's for the scalp and body. But, y'all, yeah, I probably would not use it on my scalp. I'm not sure. But it's so many people who do. If you do, make sure you comment below and let me know how it works for you. But, yeah. So, this scent is called Miro's Place. It smells so good. I wonder if they have a lotion. If so, I'm definitely going to buy that lotion as well. The next item I have is this Sephora brush. Um, it is a scalp massager. So, it can hang up in your shower. And, yeah. I actually used this the other day. It's supposed to scrape your hair. I have one from Beauty Supply, y'all, and it literally scrapes your scalp off. So I was trying to find something that was a scalp massager, but that isn't so rough. Next, I have this Dr. Jart's Cairo Rubber Face Mask. This is also something that I'm super um, excited to try out, y'all. This is a rubber mask with brightening vitamin C. So, yeah. It's a single-use mask, y'all, and it's supposed to be intense care. And, yeah. It says it's a 85% natural origin Cool and rubber mask formulated with sea buckthorn fruit extract for skin brightening and core modeling mask ingredients. And it's dermatologist tested. And I heard a lot of good things about Dr. Jart. So yeah, I'm super excited to try this. This is step two. So step one is like 
this vitamin C um, serum. So it comes with this and this. This is step one. This is step two. And I'm going to make sure to let y'all know how this worked out for me. Y'all, this is the next item. Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. I'm super excited to try this out. Um, let's see how to open it. Shoot. Yeah, I've been super excited to um, try this perfume out. So, let's see what's to it. Oh, it comes in this super cute packaging. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but this is how the bottle look. It's super sleek and cute. Now, let's see how this bad girl smells I see oh oh yeah y'all I definitely like this one I definitely like this one it smells super good it's like a going out scent so something I'll definitely wear out with my girls it's nothing too heavy it's yeah it's perfect i definitely recommend that perfume and it's not many perfumes that i actually like y'all but when i find a good one like i become addicted and this good girl gone bad is definitely gonna be one of my faves in my perfume collection i've been more into the woozy smells lately and this falls right under the woodsy um category so yeah i really like that so that's a winner next up i have the fenty by rihanna sun stalker bronzer so i was looking for an everyday bronzer y'all to wear and without wearing makeup like for a fresh face when i do some brows you know a lash and of course, this is the Fenty um, casing. It's super slick. It's like, oh, the paper fell off. But it's like a, oh, I love that it has a little mirror in it. But it's like a little um, warm. And it gives the face some warmth. It looks so good in the sun. I tried Mariah's out when we were in Mykonos and I fell in love. I'm like, I have to go get this. So I finally got it. Um, this is one of the items that I got from Sephora. So yeah, that's good. I was happy about that. I don't know if y'all remember when the woman who was giving me the tester at Sephora. So it was of the time for body shimmer oil and yeah, they didn't have any left. So she gave me this little um these two samples so i was so grateful of that and yeah yeah i can't wait till that actually comes back in stock because i actually do think i'm gonna get it so yeah that was a little tester i'm gonna make sure i go back and get that when it comes back in stock so next up, I have this. Oh, I didn't even show y'all the packaging. I have this Touch Lens Power Mist hand sanitizer, y'all. This is watermelon scented hand sanitizer. It's so aesthetically pleasing. That is literally the only reason why I bought it because it's so cute and will look so good in my purse. And it really does smell like watermelon, y'all. It smells so good. Okay. Next up, we have another fragrance that I picked up from Nordstrom. It is called Slow Dance. I am so excited to try this as well. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. and I could smell something. Let's see. Oh. This is also a cute little case. I don't know y'all. This one is gonna have to grow on me. It's real strong, but yeah, y'all. This is definitely like a dark drink. It is really strong. It's definitely a nighttime scent. I think like nighttime scents are heavier scents. That's more of a woodsy smell rather than like light floral daytime scents. But I like it. I think it'll just have to grow on me a little bit. But um, they have a lot of different good smells. I think I would probably like Gypsy Water a little bit better. So I'm going to try that out next. Next up, I have the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Y'all, this is just one of my essentials. Like, I always, I always need my brow gel. Let me try to see if I can do a little bit. Or something to my brows. But yeah, I love brow gel. I got a little travel size one so that I can take it to work and put it in my purse. For my everyday, I don't really like to wear makeup, so something light as possible is always best for me. So, yeah, the brow gel fits in that category. So now for my last items. They are also from Nordstrom. So one is what I have on. I love getting my PJs from Nordstrom as well as Target. Um, this little set is super comfortable. Yeah, this little set is super comfortable. And I have a size small. It was very inexpensive. I think it was like probably around $50. And yeah, so if you know me, you know that I love pajama sets. I love pants and short cotton, soft material pajama sets. So if you're thinking about buying me a gift, I love pajamas also. Next item. I have are these Skims pajama pants, of course. Um, I'm going to try them on and give me one sec. Okay, y'all. So just like the last pajama pants I had on, these are a size small as well. And I really like the material of this. These also have like a drawstring. So I didn't buy a matching pajama top for these pajama pants, but... They're super cute and super lightweight. Right up my alley. So I'll definitely be ordering some more skin PJs. Last but not least, y'all. So the next items I have is this 
like creamish color skins bodysuit i got it in this color as well as black i'm gonna try one one so that you guys can see how it fits it does feel like butter so yeah and i also have a size extra small in this so let me show you how it fits yeah yeah um i always think that it is better to buy a quality because you know yeah y'all so this is how the skims bodysuit fit it fits super tight i have an extra small and i probably could have used a small but i do like this fit and i like that it's really tight and hugging so yeah it looks super good and comfortable I usually get my body suits from Primark, but yeah, these skims ones are so much better quality. Y'all, I'm satisfied with all of my items. I am going to link the items below as well as give you guys an update on the face mask and the body scrub and let you know how I like them. But I really do like all of the products that I purchased the other day um i have to get a little bit used to the slow dance uh fragrance but other than that you know i like all of the things that i purchased so yeah y'all i'm about to go to sleep i have work in the morning so i am going to catch back up with y'all when i get up <laughs> Today is game day, so my colleague and I decided to stop by the hot dog stand before the game started. up winning the game which is always great so bear down <laughs> but I am going to head to get my hair fixed and then head out now my sister is straightening my hair tell me what this mean was <laughs> y'all my um my hairstyle is went into labor today, so my appointment was canceled. Hey, yo, Tim, man, it's the 
jump off right here, man. Been going for a minute, now I'm back with the jump ball. Goons in the club, keep stopping jump ball. Back up for the hobbit. Thank you. And that's why you're my sister, so you guys can see her probably. Okay, I'm not coming. All right, right, right. Oh, okay. I'm not coming. I forgot. So July 28th, it means better. You what know, color we have? Which one of these? Um, one of these two, probably. Once you decide on what style you want, mm -hmm. then we can. What oh, style? <laughs> And poop. Shut your ass. Why would you say poop? Cosmo and Wanda go in the mirror. What do you think? Come on, Wanda. Shut your ass. Not come on, Wanda. It's the feathers. Brass man. I'm like this now on her. She can to meet on YouTube. That style is really cute. It's so cute. And you got a ponytail. That's perfect. You like it, Brad? Yeah, I see my nipples. Mm -hmm. Tiny waist. I know that's right. Yeah. Child, you ain't gonna worry me. Look, y'all ain't gonna worry her. She doing her best. I'm crying. Her face was just so disgusting. <laughs> Pull the straps at the same like, time. She, she's really sweet, but she's like, and then she's sharp. to tighten it, pull it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm waiting on this arrangement. I should have got it done earlier, but. Yeah, I dropped the ball on that, so we're waiting on the arrangement right now. Yeah. I'm gonna go drop it off. you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this vlog just as much as i enjoy creating it for you make sure to comment below any questions you may have for me i'll be answering those questions in an upcoming vlog see you guys soon Mwah.